solving any problem begins with asking the right questions. Uh, when you are able to acknowledge that something is not right and you could benefit from help, that acknowledgement begins the journey. Every journey begins with a step. That's a step. Until you can get to that point, you're not going to seek help. You're probably not going to accept help. You can't go because my wife put my arm behind my back and twisted and said, if you don't go, I'm leaving you. Um, you know, that, that's a wife says to a husband, if you don't go to couples counseling, I'm leaving you. That's not necessarily the best context in which to have therapy, but it's a start. Uh, and you slowly become more self-aware. Uh, you're right. Culturally, masculinity is independent and self-reliant, and we find it difficult. Why do men have trouble asking for directions? You know, our egos are involved. Our, uh, it, we seem diminished or, or less capable, um, less manly. Um, I, you know, I'm on the hindsight of looking back at it now. Um, I don't feel any less a man for having asked for help. But um, I suspect prior to that point, I thought, well, what a pussy you are. You're airborne. Come on. You're combat veteran, man. You've been under some really bad situations. You didn't wuss out. You didn't break down. You didn't sob. You dealt. Why can't you suck it up now and deal? It's very hard to shrink yourself then. Our minds are all about survival. They are nimble. You, it's very, very difficult to shrink yourself. You need that objective ear on the outside, listening to you talk about things, talking about how you feel about things, and, and saying to you, okay, that's very objective thinking. Okay, that's not real clear thinking. Can you see that now as I point that out to you? You need that outside ear, that outside eye, to allow you, because we do the work, it's, it's, our, it's our heavy lifting, but you need that outside objectivity to help get you on a path to get better.